Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about design of asynchronous counters in digital electronics course, digital logic design course, switching theory and logic design course and computer organization and architecture course. It is one of the most important concepts that can be used to design any asynchronous counter. So please understand carefully. To design any asynchronous counter, we have to use the following steps. So step one is determine the number of flip-flops needed. That means how many number of flip-flops are required to design an asynchronous counter that can be calculated by using the following formula that is 2 power n greater than or equal to capital N. So what is small n and what is capital N? Small n is nothing but number of flip-flops required and the capital N is nothing but number of states in the given counter. Next, step 2, choose the type of flip-flop we have to use. So, which type of flip-flop required to design the given asynchronous counter? So, in all asynchronous counters, we have to use either JK flip-flop or T flip-flop we have to use to design any asynchronous counter. Next, step 3, write the truth table of the given asynchronous counter. So, once we are deciding how many number of flip-flops are required, how many number of states in the given counter and which type of flip-flop we have to use, then we have to draw the truth table for the given asynchronous counter. Next, step 4. Here, we have to use a reset logic over a clear logic. So, derive the reset over a clear logic by using Carnap map simplification. Okay. We have to find out the uh, reset logic over a clear logic. To find out the reset logic over a clear logic from the truth table of the given counter from step 3. So, that, that can be simplified by using k -nap. Okay. Next, step 5, draw the logic diagram. Finally, we have to draw the logic diagram for the given asynchronous counter. So, these are the 5 steps we have to follow to design any asynchronous counter. So, in the next video, we can go for uh, design of BCD ripple counter by using these five steps. I hope all of you understanding this uh, video. If you really understanding this video, so please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you really understanding this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divgala Srinivasarao. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, Divgala Srinivasarao. So, in this uh, channel, so, for better understanding of the full course, go to playlist called DLD or STLD or Digital Electronics. It contains approximately so 330 videos for better understanding of the entire course of DLD or STLD or Digital Electronics. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Next video, we can go for one example.